I was in the stands. I was sitting right in front of the triple. So I was right where Sam was going over. Of course, we were all cheering because it, it wasn't new to us. We did it a lot. And, uh, and then he went down. He didn't get up. It was awful. It was so awful. They came and got me from the room and they said, um, would you like to step in? And the doctor was standing there and he just said, your son is quadriplegic. He'll never move from the neck down. Any time paralysis occurs, generally we categorize that as either paraplegia or quadriplegia. Quadriplegia is just what it says, quad meaning four, meaning that all four of your extremities and your trunk have some degree of paralysis. It can be, it can be partial, it can be complete. And, and you're not only missing motor function, but you're also missing sensory function. So you may not be able to feel um, normal sensation. I broke my neck, I broke my lower back, um, my lungs had collapsed, I broke my hip. My leg wasn't even connected to my, to my, to my body. And the thing, the thing was, is it hurt. I remember my mom sitting on the bed the next time I, I was awake and I was conscious. Um, and she was, she was sitting there and, and they're all crying. And I'm like, why are you guys crying? Like, what's going on? Like, where am I at? What, what, what is this? Like, what, where are the balloons? What the fuck? And, um, I'm like, let's go, you know? And nobody was really saying anything. And I'm just sitting in this bed and I'm, and I'm like, well, come on, let's go. Like, and then I try to move my legs and I'm like, how come my legs aren't moving? I was like, no, no, this don't happen to me. I didn't want, I'm like, no, I'll be, I'll be fine, I'll, I'll be all right. Like trying to pretend like I was okay, but I wasn't all right, you know? Um, and that's when it really all began, you know, like trying to adapt to my new life. And that's when, you know, I'm in, I'm in this hospital and didn't want to be there. We refer to this whole process as kind of a remarkable journey. And everybody has to take that journey on their own. And as much as I would love to help them, I can't. I would love to be able to just take them and skip over the journey and get them to a better place. But I also have come to realize how important the journey is. And everybody has to do that independently. I was in the hospital probably a total of a year. Uh, Sam had to learn how to speak again, how to eat, how to brush his teeth, how to use his hands because he didn't, he lost full use of his hands. So he only had partial use of his hands. And then when we, when it was time for him to come home, of course, then we had to build a ramp on the back of the house and knock out walls because these older homes, they, the doors aren't even wide enough for a wheelchair. When he first came home, he was in an electric wheelchair because he didn't really have the arm strength. And they thought that he'd stay in that electric wheelchair. Nope. He hasn't been in it in years. I got really depressed and my brother found, found out, you know, he's like, well, let's take you to the gym. And going to the gym, like sometimes, I would... I would go in there and I would leave crying. Like, I'm like, I'm never going back. People are looking at me and I can't even pick up these weights. My hands don't even work. When you have these injuries, your, your whole self-image is gone. Like, you see me walk, but if I see myself in a mirror or in the window, I hate the way I look. I hate the way I walk. But you have these injuries, you don't get better, you get different. And getting different is something that no one's ever taught us how to, to do. 
that's why it's so difficult and overwhelming is because you look around and you want answers and and no one no one really gives you the answers this surgery has really kind of put um, a slow in my gym routine and now my I've accomplished so much at the gym that I've done four bodybuilding shows and it all happened just like just I wasn't even planning on doing a bodybuilding show like over time I got better after I found them hooks and start looking up the weights then they're like we want you to come out and do a bodybuilding show and I was like me and I'm like, I, I can't like, did you see me? And they're like, no, yeah. They're like, no, it, we really want you to come out. And I'm like, are you, are you sure? So I did the show, you know, just kind of went out there and flexed a little bit or whatever. I, and I still was nervous. I didn't feel like I belonged there. But then when I got out there, I, I think I had a really big moment where, um, you know, af after everybody all claps and it's like, wow, man. Man, if I can do this, I, I can do anything. I mean, we're not miracle workers. But I can tell you that most people just want a chance. They just want an opportunity to reach the highest level of function that they can. Some of our greatest and best stories are people like Sam. You know, Sam's still in a chair. But as Sam, his, Sam's spirits walk, does his spirit walk? And you better believe, you know, the fact that the guy he gets out of bed every day and he goes for it.